Joe Paterno is major college football's all-time winningest coach, but his image will always be tainted by a child sex abuse scandal involving a former assistant coach that engulfed Penn State. The coach known as Joe Pa led Penn State to 409 victories and two national championships in 46 seasons at Happy Valley. But in the fall of 2011 came the shocking news that retired defensive coordinator Jerry Sandusky was charged with 52 counts of sexual abuse involving 10 boys. Soon after, the university's board of trustees fired the 84-year-old Paterno after a grand jury report suggested he knew of the accusations against Sandusky and did not do enough to pursue them. In a recent interview with the Washington Post, Paterno said he didn't know which way to go after an assistant coach came to him in 2002 saying he had seen Sandusky sexually abusing a boy. I called you know, my superiors and I said, hey, we got a problem, I think. Would you guys look into it? Because I didn't know, you know, I had never had to deal with something like that. I didn't feel, I didn't feel adequate. Before the scandal, Paterno had become a living legend among college football coaches. Paterno's Nittany Lions played in 37 bowl games, winning 24 times. Penn State had five undefeated seasons under Paterno, the first in 1968. Paterno arrived in State College in 1950 as an assistant to Rip Engel, his former coach at Brown. Sixteen years later, Paterno was in charge. There's a statue of the famed coach outside Penn State's Beaver Stadium. To say Paterno is a beloved figure in State College is an understatement. Paterno's program always had a squeaky clean image, avoiding any major scandals that involved other schools. But Penn State was thrown into turmoil following the charges levied against Sandusky in November of 2011. Upon his firing, students rallied outside of Paterno's home. The longtime Penn State coach injured his pelvis and right shoulder in August of 2011 after getting blindsided accidentally by a receiver during preseason practice. Just weeks before he turned 85, it was announced Paterno was being treated for lung cancer. He would also break his pelvis again in a fall at home. Steve Carmazan, Associated Press.